Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have the latest from the live radar run for the UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days so it's going to be turning slightly warmer as we head into next week really just getting back towards average for the time of year but unfortunately it is going to remain pretty unsettled indeed with the risk of some longer spells of rain, but I think the highest risk will be from just generally heavy and thundery showers as we do have low pressure dominating. As we head into the medium to longer range, there have been hints of something warmer and drier, especially in yesterday's video from the GFS. Unfortunately, this evening, we are seeing only a low pressure, really, from those runs. Again, that we are only looking at the operational. We'll have a look at those ensembles, and there are still the trends of something warmer and drier. But for the time being, at least the next week or so, we're still looking at average to below average in terms of temperatures and in terms of precipitation, quite a lot indeed up and down the country. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. Now, if you start on the live radar, you can see a spell of prolonged rain moving through at the moment. Now, it hasn't been too heavy today, but many have seen some very thick cloud and plenty of on and off rain with some moderate to heavy bursts within it now it is clearing this evening we're on this around 11 p.m and it is clearing away but it could linger as low pressure does spiral round in places through friday and even into saturday now if you put on the temperatures with the atlantic air moving in it is turning slightly milder than the northerly airflow we had earlier this week but it still is below average for the time of year nowhere near as warm as we can see and expect as we head into the uh, early portion of summer give it a couple of weeks we'll be expecting average highs of low 20s seeing none of that at the moment now if you go over to the latest ukv you can see all that rain moving through this evening and as we head into friday we could see some lingering spells across scotland but it could clear through the afternoon and then we just see generally sunshine and showers some of these quite hefty and thundery as we head into saturday we could see more longer spells of rain spiraling in from the west and then another longer spell of rain into eastern northern scotland and then generally elsewhere still sunshine and showers as we head into Sunday, more areas of showers, especially for Northern England and Scotland, but elsewhere it is turning slightly drier. And then as we head into Monday, some showers around, but nowhere near as heavy and widespread. But as we head into Tuesday, could see some more persistent and prolonged rain in the southeast, with some further rain further northwards and westwards in the form of showers. So you can see it's not terrible over the next five days especially into Monday and Tuesday for some areas where it will be drier, but it's nowhere near widespread dry conditions. Definitely still is pretty unsettled for most. And we'll have a look at those temperatures and you'll be able to see that it is going to recover, but where we have cloud and rain, it's not going to recover all too much. Now for Friday, we could reach 20 degrees, but it's going to be an isolated 20 degrees, pretty poor for the time of year. Now, as we head into Saturday, overnight temperature is pretty chilly, and as the afternoon again could see an isolated 18 to 20, most in the mid-teens or even low teens. So again, a pretty poor day for June. And then as we head into Sunday, a little bit better across parts of England there, maybe more widely towards 19 or 20 degrees, but still generally below average for most. And then you can see as we head into Monday, temperatures could climb to maybe 21 or 22. So getting back towards what we should expect for summertime, but really in that south and east corner, we have dry conditions. But then as we head into Tuesday, those areas that's all 22 on Monday are down by almost 10 degrees, down towards 13 or 14 degrees, and that is because cloud and rain is moving in. So yes, there could be some warmish conditions into early next week, but it would be very much dependent on that cloud and rain. Unfortunately, it does look like we're going to see quite a bit of cloud and rain. It does look like it will be more isolated to certain regions into next week, instead of, at the moment, it's pretty widespread. Today, that rain moved in for all and through tomorrow, and Saturday, we are likely to see plenty of hefty showers up and down the country. There will be focus areas, but the risk is everywhere really but into early next week it could become a little bit more focused now if you have a look at the latest gfs you can see we've got low pressure coming in off the atlantic at the moment and that's why it is so unsettled and it's going to dominate as we head into early next week it is going to fill in and so the pressure is going to rise and that could allow dry conditions into the middle part of next week and we could see a temporary ridge for a few days towards the end of next week 
But as we head into the longer range where we hoped low pressure could build up from the south, instead low pressure comes barraging in off the Atlantic and it goes very unsettled and you could argue even a bit stormy there from the latest GFS on the back edge, pulling in a northerly wind. Again, it's not ridiculously cold, but it is pretty chilly with the upper air temperatures down towards 6 to 8 degrees below average, so pretty poor. Not ideal at all. Uh, and yeah, we could just hope for better things to come. Hopefully just an anomalous GFS run at this stage. Uh, and hopefully we go back to that warm and dry conditions we saw from the run yesterday. Now, if you look at the latest GM, uh, again, westerly winds coming in at the moment, low pressure dominating, pressure rising slightly next week, but not actually rising anywhere near as, uh, near as much as the GFS, and then the lows return towards day 10. So pretty much a carbon copy of the GFS. Yes, slightly different in terms of pressure and timings, but overall the same sort of pattern. Low pressure, staying in control, coming in off the Atlantic, brief rises of pressure at times. It could give temporary dry conditions. But most of the time, the air is going to be coming in from the west and the northwest, and we are likely to stay unsettled. Now, after you finish by looking at the latest ECMWF, again, westy winds at the moment, low pressure over the top of us. Pressure could rise briefly into the middle of next week before we see more low pressure coming in off the Atlantic. And look at that low stuck to our north, a west to northwesterly wind. And yeah, really does not look good at all. Staying very unsettled and really quite horrible. You look at those upper air temperatures, not amazingly bad but they are coming in from the northwest from the remnants of winter time and you can see it's coming from greenland so it's likely to be chilly not cold but chilly so taking a bit of a edge off the air uh, and it means yeah we're not looking like much in terms of summary conditions at all over the course of the next you so, know sort of 10 days or so now, if you finish uh, by having a look at the latest ensembles, you can see generally below average over the next couple of days, trending back towards average into early next week, but staying very unsettled. And then into the final 10 days or so of June, which we only have really have a limited uh, sort of idea on as it is in the extended range, you see more above average, but precipitation still stays fairly high. So yes, chances are we could see warmer air masses, but it is likely to stay pretty unsettled. Um, and yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what happens with that. Again, very warm runs from the GFS yesterday, but still seeing some of that, but not really a main consensus at this stage. Now, if you finish off by looking at the latest East and F ensembles, it's probably very similar. Below average over the next few days, trending back towards average into next week, but could turn even more unsettled in around seven or eight days' time. Could turn very, very unsettled. And I think that's when that low comes barraging in off the Atlantic after some temporary high pressure. And then beyond that, temperatures hovering around average. Precipitation still staying sort of moderately high, but nothing too ridiculous into the final week or so of June. So there is scope there for something better into the final week or so of the month but i wouldn't bank on it at this stage and we've got plenty more unsettled and generally pretty chilly conditions to get through in the meantime hopefully things as i said do go up on the up uh, on the up and hopefully we do see a change in the next couple of days with some of these medium to long range predictions and go back to what that gfs was showing yesterday hopefully that wasn't just an anomaly uh, but it could have been given the looks of the runs today so anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have enjoyed subscribing new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.